uh, sprinkler valves and how they tie into the fire alarm system. And I'm on a site, uh, Section 8 housing, and the sprinkler fitter was there on his own and he thought, well, it doesn't work, so the valve doesn't work. So he, he attempted to put in a cord style uh, a valve switch, tamper switch, whatever you want to call it, as a replacement and called me in the next day because he didn't know how to wire it. Now the cord style, they're fairly tricky. They're fairly tricky to wire, to be honest. Just because it's kind of a tight spot and it's a little box and it's just it's kind of it's kind of cheesy how they work, to be honest with you. But uh, and so I asked the question, why, why, why change out? A butterfly valve with an integrated switch in it. I open the box and while you you watch the video you'll see what I mean by it and I try to explain it as best as I can. So why is this the valve switch does not work? So we're supposed to put this guy in. Better put that in but he doesn't know how to wear it. So we're gonna take a look at this valve. See what's going on. Most valves, the problem is probably nothing really wrong with the valve switch. Uh, it's probably the wiring. And looking at that, definitely, definitely it's wired it wrong. It's definitely, I say it's definitely wired it wrong. So I can tell just by looking at it that that's not wired correctly. So we're going to fix that up. All right, so I've completed the wiring of the valve switch, and this is done correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these up so there's no no conductors exposed. And I do that just by pulling the uh, insulation over. But this is how to correctly do it, and I've tested it. Uh, I've only got one hand, so I can hold the... I don't have a tripod or a gimbal or anything, so I hold the camera with one hand while I work with the other. So, But I've tested it, and it works. This is the proper way to hook up. A valve switch. This this here was a bad idea. That's just a really bad idea. And just because they said this didn't work, but a guy had it hooked up to the wrong wires. So happens almost every day I see this. So I just thought I'd put it on, give you some footage as to how to properly wire these up. Again, two in, two out. That's your first clue. All these extra wires, these are for like if you had a monitoring box or if you wanted to do something. Um, outside of the fire alarm, whether it's uh, text messaging or something and you wanted to hook up something simple, something non-compliant or not sure how to explain it or something to that effect because there are other uses for these switches other than, other than just uh, fire suppression.